We are given the implicit equation and asked to determine the equation of the tangent line and the normal line to the curve at y equals zero. Let's first determine the point we're concerned about on the curve, which is the point where y equals zero. To find the x-coordinate, we'll substitute zero for y into the equation and solve for x. So again, if y equals zero, then we have the equation x times zero plus the cosine of x times zero minus four x equals negative seven. Simplifying x times zero is zero, cosine zero is one, giving us one minus four x equals negative seven. Next, we subtract one on both sides, which gives us negative four x equals negative eight, dividing both sides by negative four, and simplifying, we have x equals two. So when y equals zero, x equals two, and therefore the point where we're trying to find the equation of the tangent line and normal line is the point two comma zero. And now for the next step, we will determine the derivative so that we can evaluate the derivative at the point two comma zero to determine the slope of the tangent line. And therefore we differentiate both sides of the implicit equation with respect to x. To differentiate x, y with respect to x, we will have to apply the product rule where the first function is x and the second function is y. So applying the product rule, we have the first function of x times the derivative of the second function with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. And then plus the second function of y times the derivative of the first function with respect to x. The derivative of x with respect to x is one. And then we have plus to differentiate cosine x y with respect to x we will have to apply the chain rule where the inner function u is x, y, and also notice how to find u prime. We'll have to apply the product rule again where the first function is x and the second function is y. So the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is negative sine u times u prime, or in our case, negative sine of x, y, and then times the derivative of x, y with respect to x, which we found earlier we know is x, times dy dx plus y times one by applying the product rule. And then we have minus the derivative of four x with respect to x, which is four, equals the derivative of negative seven with respect to x, which is zero. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx. For the next step, we'll distribute negative sine x y to clear the parentheses. So we have x dy dx plus y, and then plus negative sine x y times x times dy dx. Let's write that as minus x sine x y dy dx. And then we have negative sine x y times y. Let's write that as minus y sine x y. And we still have minus four equals zero. And now we need to isolate the dy dx terms. Right now we have two dy dx terms here and here. Let's keep these two terms on the left and move the other three terms to the right. This gives us x dy dx minus x sine x y dy dx equals on the right, we'd have positive y sine x y minus y plus four. The next we factor out dy dx from the left, which gives us dy dx times the quantity x minus x sine x y equals the right. And now to solve for dy dx, we divide both sides by x minus x sine x y. Simplifying, we now have dy dx equals the quantity y sine x y minus y plus four, all divided by the quantity x minus x sine x y. Let's record this above. Now let's work on determining the equation of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line is equal to dy dx at the point two comma zero, 
which means to determine the slope of the tangent line at the point two comma zero, we substitute two for x and zero for y into the derivative. This gives us zero times the sine of two times zero minus zero plus four. In the numerator, this is all divided by two minus two times the sine of two times zero. Simplifying in the numerator, we have four. In the denominator, we have two minus two times sine zero. Sine zero is zero. The denominator simplifies to two. Four divided by two is two. So now we know the slope of the tangent line is two, and it also passes through the point two comma zero. So using the slope of two and the point of two comma zero, let's go ahead and find the equation of the tangent line. Let's first find the equation in point slope form. which gives us y minus zero equals two times the quantity x minus two. Let's go ahead and solve for y. We have y equals two x minus four. This is the equation of the tangent line. And now let's determine the equation of the normal line. The normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. And remember the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals, which means if the slope of the tangent line is two or two over one, then the slope of the normal line is a negative reciprocal of two over one, which is negative one half. And it also passes through the point two comma zero. So the equation of the normal line is y minus zero equals negative one half times the quantity x minus two. Solving for y, we have y equals negative one-half x plus one. And again, this is the equation of the normal line to the curve at the point two comma zero. Let's take a look at this graphically. The curve given by the implicit equation is the blue curve. Here we see the point two comma zero on the curve. The red line is the tangent line to the curve at the point two comma zero, and the equation is y equals two x minus four. The green line is a normal line, or the line that's perpendicular to the tangent line at the point two comma zero, and the equation of the normal line is y equals negative one half x plus one. I hope you found this helpful.